Slippery as an eel, they say. But it's not just this slimy fish's body that's hard to get a grip on. Humans have grappled with the mystery of the eel's life cycle for centuries. Every American and European eel's life begins and ends in the Sargasso Sea. How do these eels know where the Sargasso Sea is? How do they get there? And what happens when they reach their final destination? Stay tuned as we dive into the mysterious life of the Atlantic eel. There are over 800 species of snake-like eels throughout the world, but no one has ever seen the American and European eels spawn. The American eel lives all along the Atlantic coasts of North and Central America, from Greenland down to Trinidad and Tobago. The Sargasso Sea is the only sea in the world that has no land boundaries. A year-long system of ocean currents forms its borders. All American and European eels will head there once they reach the last quarter of their lives. Every eel, no matter which American river or Italian canal it has been swimming in, will travel up to 5,500 kilometers to get to the Sargasso Sea and find a mate. Strangely, you won't see any sexual organs on this secretive fish until it is en route to its mating site. And that would be why the question of eel's origin has plagued our finest minds for centuries. Ancient Egyptians believed eels manifested when sunlight warmed the Nile. Ah, oh, that's lovely. And Aristotle proposed that they were made spontaneously from mud and rainwater. While we now know that eels, like all fish, come from eggs, scientists still aren't quite sure why the Sargasso Sea is the exclusive spawning site for the entire population of Atlantic eels. There seems to be no specific features or climate in the sea that could explain the eel's strange draw toward it. It was 2015 when scientists confirmed that once the American eels reach the Sargasso Sea, they mate, spawn, and all the mothers immediately die. But scientists have never seen an adult eel in its former freshwater home after breeding in the Sargasso Sea. Each eel lays an average of 500,000 to 4 million eggs, but only some larvae survive the turbulent ocean current ride to Europe and America. In their new continental homes, the larvae will feed and grow until it's time to make their trip back to the Sargasso Sea. And the cycle of life and death continues. But what if you trap American eels like other animals in a zoo or a lab? Could you watch them mate and spawn? This is where it gets even crazier. Eels refuse to breed in captivity. They don't mature or more commonly, slip away. What sort of mass hypnosis is driving this bizarre mating exodus? How do the eels know when and where to go? First, it's not a synchronized or mass migration at all. According to one popular theory, a combination of physical, chemical, geological, or biological signals triggers each mature eel's decision to head to the Sargasso Sea. And then, it's up to some highly accurate magnetic cues that each eel follows to end up in the same spawning site. Still kind of bizarre. But it's not all smooth sailing for this mysterious and intelligent fish. Climate change is altering ocean currents, messing up the Atlantic eel's navigation signals. To make things worse, overfishing to keep Japanese markets supplied, dam building, and pollution have led to a 99% decline in the American eel population in some areas. It's now on the list of critically endangered animals. Spawning in complete secrecy and reproducing exclusively in the Sargasso Sea is what some eels do. And that's why they're crazy creatures.